this is your host, Corazon Ugalde Yellen Armenta, and I'd like to introduce Ms. Hilda Tiumauro, and she's the president and CEO of Gaza Charities Incorporated. Hello, Hilda. How are you? Oh, pretty good, thank you. And how about you? I am good, thank oh, you. Congratulations, by the way, for your many, many uh, uh, beauty <laughs> titles. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, yeah. so here we are. And I'd like to ask you, Gilda, about your uh, non-profit organization, the Gaza Charities. Tell me how, okay. you know, how it started yeah. and your purpose. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. So um, about 2013, uh -huh. I went home to the Philippines to have a reunion with my classmates. Uh, that's a uh, class 1952 high school okay, okay. <laughs> and then after our event uh, it was decided that we wanted to have a legacy to remember our get-together and how we can contribute to the community and uh, most of the retired uh, students or my classmates are retired teachers and they all clamored for a library and so pretty much that became, education became the focus of uh, our mission. So when I came back to the U.S., they charged me of uh, putting together a, an organization where we could raise funds to support the building of a library in our city. And uh, that take, took quite uh, a lot of work. Yeah, but that's how it started. And how I created the nonprofit because I found out that asking donations is not just a simple, uh, you know, handing the money to somebody. Most of the donors wanted tax deductions for their contributions, mm -hmm. and that's yes. that's yeah, pretty much uh, the SOP here in the U.S. Yes. So that's why I started the nonprofit five hundred one C three, okay, which makes me a nonprofit public. A tax exempt corporation in the US. Yeah. So that's a very good cause.